When recruiting, South Alabama football coaches look for talent, but they also look for intangibles, things like character, integrity, and toughness. And they have found just that with their newest signee, 11-year-old Colby Sawyer. And we're very excited about signing Colby Sawyer to a scholarship here at the University of South Alabama. A full ride scholarship for a special guy going down a tough road. This is Colby Sawyer, a youngster in the biggest fight of his life at only 11 years old. The ladies at the hospital knew Colby was just really into football and that this would be something that he would, you know, they knew he would love. So he is just on cloud nine this week, I can just tell. A group of South Alabama athletes have joined Team Impact, in this case, impacting the life of Colby Sawyer, a courageous young man from Saraland battling leukemia. How'd that look? There he is. Look mean, man, don't it? <laughs> His wish to be a part of the South Alabama football team. Coach Joey Jones, his staff, and every player have made it happen. Colby is now on the team. Well, I think. Uh, He's bench pressing right now about 300 pounds, so we're going to put him on the offensive line. <laughs> Colby's newest teammate, starting center, Joseph Selfo. You know, we take for granted as football players, I think, sometimes, just because life's a lot bigger than we think. And, uh, you know, we're just playing football. We're not going through a life, uh, life-threatening life illness. It touches their hearts. You know, they know they know what he's going through, and they understand uh, that their, their life isn't so bad now when they, they look at what he's going through. Colby Sawyer, who's wearing the number one jersey, even has his own locker. Learning quickly, his new home also features a player lounge. <laughs> but Tuesday, dressed out and ready, it was time for practice. After a short tryout as punter, Colby found his niche at short yardage running back, fighting his way across the goal line, a task much easier than his daily fight against leukemia. <laughs> and there to congratulate him, the other Jaguar, number one, Shavarez Smith, a receiver experiencing a practice he, like Colby, will never forget. I'll never forget this, having Colby out here Having these bands, I got to make sure I got two of them. I wear these bands, and having him out here, I always remember this because it's very special to me. Because like I said, he's not as fortunate as we are, and you know it's nice to get him out here and realize that there are many people that are not as blessed as we are to be out here playing fully functional sports and doing things of that nature. So it's great to have him out here. All right, Colby, one more time with the handshake, man. In a game full of field goals and goal line stands, Colby's goal is much bigger than any game. It's survival. But now, he has 100-plus football teammates in his corner, and they're with him today here at Ladd People Stadium versus Texas State.